if the car 226 d helicopters assembled in india are successfully exported to neighboring countries the localized assembly model could be used for other helicopters as well alexander mikov ceo of the russian helicopters holding company a rostec member does not rule out the possibility of localizing production of the mi-17 helicopters in india at the moment we have no plans to localize Mi-17 production in India. But we also do not rule out such a possibility in the future. Quote, Mikhev said in an interview with the Indian blog Live Fist. He said if the car 226 d helicopters, which will be assembled in India, are successfully sold in the markets of neighboring countries, the localization experience could be replicated for other models of helicopters. Russia handed over the final batch of three Mi-17 V-5 military transport helicopters to India in February that this year, under a previously signed contract, which entailed a total of 151 helicopters, built by the Kazan Helicopter Plant, part of the Russian Helicopters Company. India also approved the purchase of 48 additional Mi-17 V-5 helicopters. The new helicopters are for use in operations in various sectors including in the desert and in mountainous terrain. Mi-17 military transport helicopters are among the most popular helicopters in their class. These helicopters were built incorporating a full-spectrum analysis of Russian helicopters. Operation in combat situations and conflict zones. It is the universality and high flight capabilities of these helicopters that make them among the world's most popular Russian-made helicopters. The latest Mi-817 military transport helicopter family includes the Mi-17 V-5 domestic designation Mi-8 MTV-5 made at Kazan Helicopters and the Mi-171 SH Mi-8 AMTSH made at Ulan Uda Aviation Plant. Mi-17 V-5 Mi-8 MTV-5 and Mi-171 SH Mi-8 AMTSH helicopters are designed to transport personnel and for carrying cargo internally or on an external sling. They can be used for search and rescue operations and can also be equipped with weapons. India and Russia formally inked an agreement on October 15, 2016, to create a joint venture to produce Car 226 d helicopters in India. The agreement was part of the outcome of the Russia-India summit in Goa. Signing the JV agreement marked a new stage of cooperation between Russia and India in the helicopter industry. First outlined in the intergovernmental agreement between Moscow and New Delhi in December 2015, the JV will become a pilot project for the Russian-Indian part of the Make in India program. The joint venture is certainly a breakthrough project for us, because it fundamentally changes the model of our cooperation within the helicopter industry. For the first time we are ready to offer our deep localization of helicopters including the setup for production of various helicopter components and assemblies. I hope that the Car 226 d assembled in India has a great future in the world market. Russian Helicopters CEO Mikhaev said in October. The joint venture for local production of Car 226 t is a profoundly new and substantial step in the development of cooperation between India and Russia. The fleet of Russian-made helicopters in India is over 400 units. But this is the first of such large-scale complex agreements for delivery and production of new helicopters in the amount of 200 units, which is fully in line with the Make in India initiative, said Sergei Chemizov, Rostec CEO. In addition, over the next five years there will be facilities set up for maintenance and servicing of the produced helicopters. Therefore the agreement represents not just a contract for production but for full life cycle support. Under terms of the intergovernmental agreement, the joint Russian-Indian enterprise created by Russian helicopters, JSC Rosoboran Export in India's HAL Corporation must arrange the localization of production and supply of 200 light multi-role car 226D for nine years. The first 60 helicopters will be produced in Russia while production of the remaining 140 helicopters is being planned in India. In addition to the assembly, the agreement provides for maintenance, operation, repairs and technical support cooperation.